guys, how's it going? My name is Senna and welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man from Scratch series. Thank you all for joining me. Now before we get into the clips, let me just say a massive thank you to everybody who tuned in to episode 18. It's by far the most popular episode at the moment, sitting at I think around 1200 views at the moment, which is just crazy. And with the release of episode 18, I think I probably gained around 80 or 90 subs as well from that. So to everybody who is new, thank you for watching and welcome to the family. But guys, yep, here we are, episode 19. Now a quick little disclaimer, I have been fairly under the weather over the past week and I haven't been playing as much as I would have liked to. I've also been very busy in real life. And this does happen from time to time, but there's not much I can really do about it. So unlike the other episodes where we might be getting a lot of stuff done, this episode is a lot more laid back in, in regards to the stuff that we do get done, I just sort of more gained some levels. It's more like a, you could probably consider this episode to be like a road to, a road to max cape sort of episode. We really only focus on gaining some total levels, but yeah, it's a lot more laid back, but I still hope you guys really do enjoy. And also keep in mind, episode 20 is going to be a big one. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be an absolutely big episode, but uh, I will leave that till next week. But guys, we'll let out of the way. Let's just get straight into the clips. Alright guys, starting off episode 19 with a Dungeoneering Daily Challenge, 70,000 free Dungeoneering XP. Of course, I did extend my Dungeoneering Dailies, I always do, and I suggest you guys do too, because the XP you get is just, it's its really, really good, and if you don't like training Dungeoneering, it's a perfect way to get your XP in. Now guys, I just really quickly want to talk about goals for this episode, or at least for the future rather. Um, I was thinking about setting a goal for myself of getting 80 crafting for the episode, but upon thinking about it further, I realized I would need 30,000 silver bars in order to achieve that goal. And if you didn't know already, you can't get silver bars from Temple Trekking anymore. You can only get silver stone spirits. So in order to get these bars, first off, I would have to get 15,000 stone spirits from Temple Trekking, then mine uh, 30,000 silver ore with those stone spirits and then smelt them into the bars and then use the bars. It would take far too long for one episode. So I've decided to just do it in the background and maybe in a month or two we'll have the bars required to get 80 crafting. But you can see in the background I'm just mining the ore now. I still need around another 10,000 stone spirits or 12,000 stone spirits. So we've got a long way to go. But that's really the plan for the future when it comes to the crafting grind. But yeah, I thought I would just fill you guys in on that, just keep you up to date. But yeah, for this episode, I'm thinking I more want to focus on maybe getting level 60 base stats. I feel like that's a really that's a really nice little goal to shoot for, so we might try and do that. Alright guys, we're just down at the crafting guild, and we are actually just picking up 75 mining, which is a really good level because it is actually a requirement for Plague's End. So that's actually the second skill that I've knocked out of the way for Plague's End, so I think only like 7 to go now. Just doing a little bit of Slayer in my downtime, we pick up a Greater Demon's Task, and with that we actually get 72 Slayer as well. So, uh, we actually unlock Skeletal Wyverns, which is one of my favourite tasks, so hopefully we get one soon. Well guys, it is a new month, and with that comes our monthlies, and of course, we get a pretty trash reward from the Oyster this month, which is a shame because this is actually the, the first reward that's been under 100k. We've gotten fairly lucky up until this point, but not this month, unfortunately. Alright guys, just wrapping up an Aberrant Spectre's task, and we are just claiming our XP from the reward book for completing the task within the Slayer Tower, and that gets us 67 strength as well, which is really nice. Hopefully we can get that to level 70 at some point, that way we can have level 70 base stats across all our combat stats. Alright guys, it's been a while since we've been to the Rune Span, and it really is one of the most beautiful places in the game, but there is 56 rune crafting. Shouldn't take too long to get to level 60 because it's just so afk now, it's just really, really easy. But uh, yeah, we're just about to pick up level 57 as well. Uh, we did a lot of this on stream, so it went by super, super quickly. But I mean, even if I wasn't doing it on stream, it would still go by very quickly. Now, I know the rune spam was a controversial update when it first came out because it decredited everybody who'd spent the time getting 99 rune crafting the hard way, decredited them a lot, and uh, made rune crafting a bit of a joke. But I mean, I was okay with it because not. I mean, me and a lot of other people don't have those sort of hours to get 99 runecrafting, so I'm curious to hear what you guys think about it. Um, but there is level 60 runecrafting as well. It is a nice level to get. Alright guys, the next skill to get to level 60 I think we're going to start on is summoning. So there is 56 summoning. Now, I mean, I've actually honestly forgotten how expensive training summoning is. I reckon I've, at the moment, spent over half a mil just on spirit shards. Um, but there is 57 summoning. Getting those Ibis pouches, they're actually going to help with the fishing grind um, in the not too distant future. So they're actually pretty good to make. But yeah guys, as I was saying, summoning actually a very expensive skill to train. Especially when you don't have a lot of money, you can just watch your cash stack just 
just go down and down. Um, it's it's quite depressing really, but 58 summoning, only two levels to go. I mean, the, the positive side to training summoning is it is very, very fast. I mean, if you've got the money, you're all set, basically. Taking a break from summoning, guys, we are back at the farm for another farming level. Basically our weekly farming level at this point, because you get like one, one every three or four days now. Uh, there is 78, we can now plant reeds, which is very exciting, I'm sure. 59 summoning has been achieved, one level to go. Not gonna lie, this level was actually quite slow because I had to like run around and buy all the secondary ingredients. And there is level 60 summoning, We're using just a little bit of our blue charms, just because I'm lazy and I didn't want to spend two hours uh, gathering the secondary ingredients for my gold charms. But there is level 60 summoning done and dusted. All right, guys, without a doubt, my favorite skill to start training to level 60 is thieving. As I've mentioned before in this series, thieving is probably one of my favorite skills, and there is level 56 thieving. I am almost guaranteeing that this is not going to take long at all. It is very fast, but especially at the, the lower levels, it does slow down a little bit, but it is still extremely fast. Uh, level 57 as well. The only frustrating thing is the amount of times you fail looting these urns, but, you know, you just you got to do what you got to do. And we are just completing... Our daily caches as well guys remember always remember to do your caches there is 56 divination you can get two levels a day easy at the lower levels just doing your caches 57 divination has been achieved not from a cache this time actually Ch mixing it up a bit we're just training some divination the normal way <laughs> yeah so we're back on the monthly grind as well I forgot to do my god statues when the month rolled over but we are just handing in this god statue and I did actually manage to get it perfect on the first try which is I've never done that before so that was the first but there is 62 construction as well uh, unfortunately no prayer level this month but hopefully next month we might get one but there is a, a nice little construction level every free one is a good one look we may not have gotten a prayer level from the god statues but we got very close so I just decided to bury some big bones I had in my bank and picked up level 64 prayer unfortunately didn't get us a combat level I thought it might have since we are 99 combat I thought it might just get us over the edge to 100 combat unfortunately not and neither did 72 range actually we were close to that as well so I tried getting that see if it would get me 100 combat still didn't get me it which is you know oh well shit happens but then we decided to go and do our Dungeoneering dailies, of course, extending them, as always. And that picked us up two more levels, up to 63 Dungeoneering, which is always good with like, what, 78k XP drop. It's just beautiful. Pyramid Plunder is my favorite thing to do in this game. I'm not even kidding. There is 58 thieving, only two to go. Should take me maybe 30 or 40 minutes at max, I would assume. But uh, yeah, that's actually a requirement for Grim Tales as well, which is pretty interesting. We're gonna get back on the quest grind soon, I promise. And we're back with some more caches. There is 58 divination as well. And we actually pick up a piece of the Diviner's outfit as well. So that's three of the five pieces done. We should finish that fairly soon. But uh, that's pretty cool as well, I guess. More thieving, I promise. We're almost done. 59 thieving. We're sort of jumping back and forth between thieving and divination. Trying to mix it up a bit. Trying to uh, sort of keep myself sane, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's 59 thieving. And the next one, of course, is the big level 60 thieving. It's not really that big of a level. I'm just sort of rambling at this point. But 60 thieving. Not sure if it's, it's actually a requirement for uh, Wild Gothic Sleep, so we might complete that next episode, of course. I'm kidding. I, fu I fucking wish, man. I could really use that 400k free XP on, like, agility or something, because fuck agility. But in saying that, 59 divination as well. Last one to go. We're so close, I can almost taste it. Alright, guys. There it is. 60 divination has been achieved. Now, of course... I still need to get 60 agility, but honestly, fuck agility, and I'm sure you guys can all agree with me when I say fuck agility, so we'll do that another time. Now, before I end the episode, I actually decided to do some clue scrolls on stream, and this is our first hard clue on the account, and we got some fairly decent alcables, so I wasn't actually too unhappy with that. I was actually was quite pleased with it, so that's, that's good. And we also completed a couple of medium clues, got some uh, decent alcs again which uh, I'm honestly not complaining about, and some nice nature runes as well. Now, with this medium clue, I got a master clue in it, but I mean, I'm never going to complete a master clue for a long, long time, so I did decide to re-roll it, and don't hate me for it, because I'm just trying to think the most logical way through this. I'm not going to be able to complete a master clue for a long time, so I re-rolled the rewards for a chance at something else, 
and uh, yeah, it wasn't the best decision as you can see. Uh, yeah, rip that clue scroll. So we actually completed our second ever elite clue on the account and got a really, really good drop. We got an Armadil Stole, which is my first Armadil item, I, and I needed one for God Wars, which I'm hopefully going to be going to very soon, so that actually helped a lot. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for episode 19 of the Hardcore Iron Man from Scratch series. I honestly, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a little bit sort of different, at least I, th I personally think it sort of felt a little bit different this episode, but I mean, as I said, I have been sick and a little bit under the weather and very busy. But next episode is going to be an absolute banger, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, drop me a like, it really, really does help me out. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you sub so you do not miss any future uploads that I put out. But guys, with all that out of the way, my name is Sano. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.